Hello everyone, I am Doodlemans86 and today I am going to be doing possibly a long-awaited review of a Gashapon, the Godzilla 1962 Gashapon. From a line of 2-inch figures, Gashapons are 2-inch minifigures made by Bandai and there were several waves to release alongside specific Godzilla movies, specifically most of the Heisei era and the Millennium era. So today I bring to you a Wave 6 figure and this Wave 6 was for the Godzilla 1999 film. To go over it, I don't have all of the guys from Wave 6. I do have some, so I guess I'll do a little comparison with that. And I also want to point out that there is a clear wave of these guys, specifically a wave of transparent figures. I've never seen those online or in person, so I assume they're extremely rare. So if anyone has them, Good job, because you are lucky, because only, I think, 100 copies were made, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, let's start this review. This will be a pretty short review, as these are little Godzilla figures with no articulation. So yeah, we'll go over the sculpt and the paint first, which is probably the only thing we're going to go over. But yeah, he looks fantastic. He's really smooth, as you can see. The details are pretty smooth. The plastic feels nice. You know, it feels strong. And the figure is actually in parts so there's the tail and then there are the knees which also come off and then there's the hands and i think the head comes off yes so yeah there's godzilla look at him he looks so good the spines come out too but i don't think you want to make godzilla bald here so yeah you got you're gonna want to put them on and I must say, this is a very nice looking figure. I The most Gashapons I've collected are of characters I wanted, like Orga, Space Godzilla, Destroya, you know, specific Godzilla incarnations. And one that I was wanting for a very long time was this guy, because he looks really good. He's in a nice pose, that 1962 pose with his hands out. And they got the details down. I mean, this was made by Yuji Sakai, and he's the best Godzilla sculptor out there. I mean, look at that. Look at Godzilla. The teeth are individually painted, as is the tongue. The eyes are magnificent, the skin looks very green, and as you can see, the proportions are correct, all the wrinkles of the suit looking very nice. He's got a little bit of a fat build, and you can see the fingers are really bony and well done. The spines are proportioned and accurately shaped to what they appear in the movie, and there's little like detail there, as you can see, there's like little spine webbing, it looks great. The centers are a little green, that looks magnificent, I love that. And the spread out three digit toes here look nice i like the segmentation there that's what the bottom looks like and detail which doesn't have painted spines but it still looks great so yeah i really like the pose he's in the sculpting and the paint looks great this looks like 1962 just in a very small scale so yeah i like his appearance he looks really nice i guess if you want to count articulation as like swivels here for the pieces that plug in i guess you could do that in which case the elbows the neck some parts of the tail and then the knees are on a swivel so yeah if you count that as articulation then you can go ahead and do that so yeah that at least he's got something so since the person i brought the 62 from didn't have the checklist it's a good thing i got my own here so here is the wave six checklist as you can see the checklist is a little piece of paper that can extend and here we have the yuji sakai model concept and here we can see Mogira 57, Manila, Orga, the Yuji Sakai concept of Godzilla 2000, Varan, and Godzilla 62. And here you can see the clear wave set I was talking to you about. I could pull out Google Translate. You can see Godzilla 62 and the rest of the characters are there. So yeah, those are very rare to find. And I'm pretty sure they go for quite a lot. So I got this guy from G-Fest, my first time going. I knew I had to find him. And little story, but as a little kid, seeing G-Fest videos on my mom's phone and being a huge gash upon mini figure and mini model lover, I always wanted to visit G-Fest and specifically to go to like a gash upon booth and see like all the little figures up. And this being my first year going, I saw plenty of that. There were several booths with mini figures, not just gash upon. And there was a seller with several Gashapon in bags and they and he had like a model case with all the figures. And this was the last 62 figure and I'm happy to have gotten him because he is awesome. I think I paid uh, 20, 25, something like that. I know it wasn't 30 or more, otherwise I would have said no. I think the most I've paid for a Gashapon is the Orga figure, which was like 35. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy to have gone. It was a pleasant experience. I have a video if you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm just happy to have seen a like Gashapon booth. I've always wanted to see that. And we'll do some little comparisons here. So as you can see, I have Orga and the UG Sakai Concept model here. They are basically the same size as you can see. And I think there's something pretty cool about having the two green Godzillas right here back to back. I also have the other 2000 figure though. So now the green Godzilla team is complete. To close out the video, I guess I'll do some size comparisons here. So is this guy worth picking up? Yes. If you can find him, get him. As a huge lover of minifigures, this guy looks fantastic and he's just very nice and I love having figures like these in general. Overall, it's just really nice to have, you know? I like, I just like little things. It's pretty cool. And I haven't done a review like this in a while, so, you know, only fair that I did this now. So as you can see, he is very small. So if you're a huge fan of Gashapon or minifigures or Godzilla minifigures, definitely get this guy. Because like I said, he's been one I was wanting for a while. So I'm just happy to have finally got him. And now I can proudly stand him in my Gashapon shelf. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.